just got back from Massachusetts tonight with my little brother and sister, so I'm all freshly showered. That's why my hair is a mess, and I'm ready to talk about a cute little cozy video about the first person I came out to as trans. But before I do that, I just want to say, <laughs> I just want to, like, brag about the fact I got, like, a ton of clothes for back to school, because school for me starts this Wednesday, because we start really early in Colorado for some reason, and I'm really hyped for that, but I'll be showing you that stuff in an upcoming video because it pertains to a topic we're coming up and if you've noticed that I've been wearing this vest it's this one I made and I've been like doing a bunch of stuff to it like I embroidered some pride flags on it my family hasn't figured out what they are yet I also like wrote my pronouns and my family has like read them and they have no idea what that means either but I've also been embroidering band logos and I'm still not done with the circle around the 21 pilots thing because half of that is marker but on to the actual video. I've told this story before in an earlier video, I think, but I just kind of rolled through it really quickly. But when I first found out I was trans, um, I went to my boyfriend about it because he was the person I trusted most of the time, and he is kind of a person I put a lot of trust in still. Um, and I felt really comfortable telling him about it, even though I was super uncomfortable telling anyone about it. He was the person I knew I could go to first about it and he helped me feel like really comfortable with the term of being gender fluid and all and he was a great person to start that all out with but since you guys haven't gotten any updates on this yet I've actually kind of rediscovered my gender. <laughs> so instead of identifying as gender fluid I decided to start identifying with more of the just the whole umbrella term non-binary and just because I feel a lot more neutral, like, I don't ever feel like I have a specific binary gender. I always just feel really neutral and I just present more masculine or feminine at times. And <sighs> that's just me. And so when I started questioning my gender all over again, I went to my boyfriend again because he was the person I went to first about this. But... I couldn't really figure out what to do and I was like really confused about what to identify as because so I thought about non-binary and like I'd already ruled out identifying as agender because agender kind of means you don't have a gender and I felt like I had a gender but it wasn't agender. <laughs> yeah, it was a weird feeling and but since my boyfriend is cis and never actually like had to deal with um, finding a new label for his gender. I then went to another non-binary friend I have and she actually came up with like three or four different terms <laughs> for me, um, which was really sweet of her and she actually helped me a lot um, in coming to, in um, finding a way to identify and so um, I guess technically the first person I ever told was my friend Petra because she was the one who helped me with that. Um, and Petra's a person I have, I trust a lot and she was really great about this like, I'm surprised I didn't go to her first cause I mean but yeah when I go to people about this I always go to someone I have a lot of faith and trust in and <laughs> I guess now I should start going to people if I ever question anything again which I hope I don't cause that's hella confusing someone who also has experience in this but um yeah, so if you're thinking about coming out to someone for the first time, make sure it's someone, yeah, I would suggest it'd be someone you trust a lot and that you can put your faith in. And if you're questioning, someone who might have experience, because that's really helpful. <laughs> okay, until next week.